This news has been going around 10 February 2020. UAE banks. Now, which are the banks? The banks are Emirates NBD, Mushroom Bank, Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, Doha Bank, National Bank of Oman, and National Bank of Bahrain. Among the nine banks, they would be going to India and filing legal act action against Indian defaulters to recover 26 billion dirhams. That's 7 million US dollars. Um, now, these UAE based banks are going to go to India to file cases. Now, many people ask me, what do I think about this? I just look at this as a scare tactic. The, the question is, will they ever get their money back? My straightforward answer, no, they're not going to get. And even if they try to get, it's just going to be a lengthy process. What is the proof? Or how do I state this? Very simple. Look at the number of pending cases in India. 4.3 million cases as per Economic Times of India. 4.3 million cases are pending. And out of them, many of them are older than 10 years. That means for 10 years, people have been going to court, coming back, going to court, coming back. And the cases are not resolved. So as it is, you have 4.3 million cases which are pending. And many of them are 10 years and older. So you seriously think when they are not able to solve 4.3 million pending cases, adding another, let's say, 100,000 more is going to solve anything. Well, in a way, it is good that they are now taking steps to ensure that people don't run away with the money. But as far as getting the money, all the best. Once someone has taken, they're going to keep running away. And eventually, they'll do like what uh, Reliance Chairman uh, Anil Ambani said. He'll, they'll declare bankruptcy. What will you do? Put them in jail and end, uh, end up with nothing?